Hey folks, Johnny here. I'm joined with Ronnie. We're going to do a little Q&A as to any questions that have popped up on the socials recently about the fantastic new book for Kings of War. So, first of all, Ronnie, Hi, big old elephant in the room. Right. The last video you did, why were you wearing two watches? <laughs> two watches. Uh, one is one of those fancy modern uh, heart rate, sleep rate tracker things, uh, Galaxy Watch 3 or whatever it is, which is all manner of things that does, of course, tell the time. Uh, and the other one is just me being a bit of a uh, show off and I've just got a metal watch that I like wearing. So <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing more than I'm just a bit of a, uh, uh, a show off and uh, there's a bit of jewellery because I'm a bit, you know, a bit of quick yep. action and there we you, go. So, you like the idea of a fancy watch or you also like the idea of a practical watch? Correct. Well, so. Actually tells the time because the one the, the fancy the one does not in any way tell the time <laughs> and uh, yeah and so I've been out and I've still had it on and uh, yeah there we go and now today I've got no no watches no so, watches <laughs> so somewhere between one and two watches uh, between none and two watches is the is yep. the part excellent well now we've got the the main big question correct the so now we can deal with the um, smaller minor points some people have been asking if they already own the the old rule book and Uncharted Empires and latest Clash that sort of thing uh, what value is the, in the new book for, for those players. Yeah. I mean, I think the first and biggest value is you carrying three books around. And I, as always with any print, you know, the second that you print it, there's always an FAQ and a question and everything else. So you've got almost everything, 98.9% .9 of everything in one place. Uh, if you've got the original Kings of War book, it may well be a heavy hardback. Uh, might be a games edition, but you're probably carrying around a lot of the background that you don't need anymore. It might be bashed to crap because it's three years old, maybe tournament playing. So I think there's one which is simply the practicality of we were going to add another clash book, which was going to be another set of army lists and another set of things on top of Clash 22, which you have to take because that's all the army lists. Plus. So there's the practicality of one book to rule them all, but there's also a whole lot of new stuff in this book. And I think the big things are. The ambush, which I think we're going to have a major kind of recruitment drive. People are now out gaming again. People are coming up to our tournaments going, what? Well, tell me about this. OK, da, 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 but if you don't have an army, it's going to be six months before you can start. Ambush is going to help people just go, no, no, get two units, get an army deal, get a regiment set of two and you'll be playing. Yeah, I'm really excited about Ambush. It looks like a real good gateway for Correct. new recruits, doesn't it? And, and, and just fun for players that... You want to play Friday before time. your tournament. Exactly. And right. I want to play... And I want to try a different army out. And yeah. do I have to, And there's just a whole heap of... And it scratches an itch that Vanguard didn't quite, because Vanguard was supposed to be kind of feed-in, but it never quite, because it was its own game mm. too much. And I think, well, rather if you want to play Kings of War, play Kings of War, just play it smaller. Yeah. And so, uh, flip that on its head... I've got a whole weekend, I'm a nutcase, like me, and I want to play a 10,000 point battle. I want more big things. I want to be able to do things with my army list that I can't do. So let's fight a legendary battle. We're going to go for a world record and we're going to have, let's get more big things on. And so we flipped it the other way and said, how do you play 5,000, 10,000 point battles? And over time, I would love to delve deeper into that with more giants and battalions of giants and taking that scale of stuff uh, out there. So you've got you've got smaller and bigger, smaller helping play little mini games between you've finished early. Let's just have another quick game. Let's take uh, go or a whole weekend. Let's play all weekend. Uh, you've got sieges that needed a place. You just roll out your old siege. We've all got a castle tucked away somewhere. Let's let's set that up and have a big blast with that. So there's a whole load of new RC stuff. Um, they've errated. They've FAQ'd. Everything's in one place. So I think there's quite a lot in there. And there's a lot of practical and fun to get in this book. Yeah, definitely. Um, a similar question that sort of ties into that is someone asked about, um, well, won't this book be out of date in the next FAQ or errata? Yeah, and the truth is the, the, the problem with print is the second you print it is out of date. I think what we've got with this one is we've got three years of everything scooped together. And a funny three years, we know, but we've just come in at the end of a of a massive clash book last year, which I think was brilliant. I think it really we with the core rule book, we slightly vanilla thing back down to the centre. That naturally happens in the new edition because you've got new rules. So when you've got new rules, you've got to be careful that someone doesn't take a new rule and a new unit and a clever unit doing something clever and goes, let's break the game. And I think we had enough data by Clash last year to really 
go back and have some fun and spice it up and, and Cal and the RC did a really fantastic job with 22 the Clash 22 book um, and and you've scooped all that together into one place uh, we'll talk about Twilight Kid in a second but whenever you print a book it's out of date that's the, the, the problem with print all you can do is get it as much right with as much in as you possibly can at the time that you print it yeah. and I think we've done that we left it landed last second it's, it's actually not back from the printers yet because we want it to land as right as we possibly can the first next army we're doing Twilight Kin is a is a Mantic IP army we're backfilling because we'll get told off do new units new uh, you know backfilling units is good fun it's not quite as exciting as doing whole new armies but of course, when you do a whole new army, what do we do? How do we how do we build a new one without breaking the old one? Well, the answer is you can't. So, um, you know what we've done with the first army is, but you know, don't start building a Twilight Kin army and, and subbing a load of models in because we've got some cool plans to do that. It's we're kind of you know, so we've got as future proofed as we can. It's only going to get all the way to the middle of next year, I think, before anything changes, and then actually we'll start. And the other cool thing. Is keep watching this space for the app because I think the app is going to become the living rule book if you like it's going to become the constantly FAQ constantly there and um, I think that's going to be a really exciting way of us putting new armies remember the halflings we put them out we took them out and then we beated them and then we launched them and actually a load of people bought a load of 3D prints when they beated them and then the army changed quite significantly from that so you had a bit of redundancy and you'd didn't fancy doing a new army then, and then you didn't have the new cool sculpt, so it looks a bit crap. So you can have a win, you know, kind of. So we've learned from that. We've got to go, look, you've got to take it out to really work it up. I think the Halflings is one of the most beautiful armies we've ever done. I think it brings on the IP, and it's really cool. And actually, Glass 22 came out pretty much at the same time as the army list definitively came out. Now it's tournament legal. Now it's fully balanced. I think we can use the app to do some of that too. So, And there's, there's exciting things happening with this. Yeah, li linked into the, the FAQ and errata, some of the people in the comments for that were asking about living rule books, yeah. and that is the beauty of the app, isn't it? That I think that's where we're heading, yep. and I think we're, we're definitely going down that route. We haven't understood it all yet, but part of just bringing this book all into one was, there it is, right, let's share that. And I, and I think we're going to do a whole load more coverage on the app over the coming weeks, but we're looking at a, 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 you know, a living rule book. The rule book is, you know, I'm, I'm looking for this word, where's the word Boom, straight there. Um, I'm going to give everybody some time to have a go at it and really play with it. And, and you know, uh, the army list up to date. It's got Math Hammer. It's got loads of cool stuff. But I think it, it's also going to be a, a, a way for us to deliver new things constantly that's exactly it's tournament legal. It's it's legit mm -hmm. without having to wait for books. Yeah. And really that's the thing is we're always between a book. We don't do, you know, if we were a bit more cynical, hey, the only way you get the halfling is buying the halfling book. And that'd be cool because you get a lot more background, you get the army list. Um, but then, you know, the next book comes out, the next book comes out. Okay, well, we, we don't do that. We're trying to make it more one book, two books a year. But of course, the problem is then you have a dead period between one and the other. So the app may well be a way of bridging that. Yeah, the app sounds really exciting, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah looking forward to that. Keep watching this space, it's going to be cool. Um, just a question on current two-player start sets. Obviously, they have the gamers edition in as it stands. Yeah. Um, what's the plan for going forward for two-player sets? Um, we're going to upgrade when... them all with the new army. Yep. Absolutely. We're just going to take them as they are and give them this new book. Yep. Um, one book to rule them all. It's a wonderful book. It's got everything in it. So we just go straight over that. Yep. And yes, uh, so. you get a better than the games edition uh, it's bang up to date uh, and you know that follows with the ambush with the we really want people to start playing Kings of War you know we're now coming back out we wanted them to start playing in 2019 but there was no tournaments there was no you know so you know we all got our armies painted finally uh, or some of us and um, now it's back it's back gaming we want people to play this game we, we love it it's, it's what we're built on we're trying to lower the the things that make it hard uh building and painting and having a whole 2000 point army um making the plastics more available making the two player sets but all of this is about come on give it a try let's um let's engage with it so the two player sets absolutely getting a book of course they are yeah that's all existing and and future two Correct. players yeah, and, and you know we, we, the new we think it's a great way yeah, of, of mm -hmm. uh, empowered dust versus ogres i think so yep yep book coming so, out ogres very yep. exciting so by now you should have 
just about seen some of the uh, the teasers of the ogres and the, the teaser artwork for the uh, two player set. It's very exciting. It does look gorgeous. So, and if you haven't, go have a look. We'll, um, there will there'll be some links or whatever. Ogres are coming, and Empire of Dust it looks beautiful. It's really good fun. So, we've got a, a, a yeah, we're, we're, we're back on Kings of War, we're back on it big time. And for the next six, nine months, it's just event after release, after cool thing, after shiny bells and whistles. So, Great time to get into it. Great time to blow the dust off your army if you've not played for a bit. Excellent. That's, uh, that nicely rounds it off. That's so, it. Excellent. Yeah. There we go. Well, thanks, everybody. Listen, j- jump on board. We've got a beautiful deal. Uh, and the other thing that we didn't say at the beginning was, why should you buy it? Well, you've got the brand new updated set of cards, which you're getting for a fiver instead of the normal £12.50, uh, which means if you you know were paying for those, you haven't got those, it's the same price as your Clash of Kings book. So you're going to get a whole all-in-one with everything for nearest damn it, the same price as you would have played for Clash of Kings. Uh, obviously, got our website, got our local gaming stores. Sign it up. I'm going to be at Essen. We're going to be at Clash of Kings. Uh, events coming up. Hope to see you soon. And um, keep gaming.